Okay, back with more. This is Emerald. Hello, everyone. This is Emerald Lupin. Back with more of Jenny LeClue. I'm basically marathoning this game. Well, not mar not exactly marathon. Well, I'm going to marathon it again, starting right now. Okay, so let's see. Everything seems to be okay. Continue. Okay, sound has been working out very well so far. The man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. Mm-hmm. Last time we saw this mysterious man in black from Where the... are you headed, creepy man in black? ...beginning of the game, wandering around Jenny's basement and picking up the suitcase and umbrella that he left there. Why did he leave them there? Is he just forgetful? Jenny couldn't simply chase the mysterious figure. He's bound to notice me if I follow too closely. I need to get out of his line of sight. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, uh... Hold on, I'm going to stop the recording just a second to take care of something. Okay, back. I thought maybe the uh, AC was getting picked up by my microphone or something like that. Well, there's still the noise from my computer, but I think it, it should be tolerable. I can't do anything about the noise from my computer anyway. Anyway, where was I? Move this up a little bit, I think. Move the game window. Okay, out of his line of sight. Everything is recording. Yes. I know I should be moving on with the game. I'm just trying to make sure because I, you know, have pro I've had unexpected problems before. So everything is recording. Yes. Okay. If only Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. How? Yeah, it seemed like kind of a big design flaw that you couldn't get down the ladder yourself. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Sticker! Yay. Back through the Forgotten Forest with a weird lab underneath it. Uh, the other weird lab. Not Susie's. Leap. Okay. There we go. Past the fungus. And the logs and the rocks and the blue? There he is. Why did the screen turn blue? Do you know why the screen turned blue, Mysterious Man in Black? The 
bridge should slow him down a bit. Huh? What? What the? How the? How did he do that? How did he do it so fast? It took me a while to figure out where to go with that puzzle. Grumble, grumble, grumble. He's... What? Are you using cheat codes? He's using cheat codes, isn't he? Am I gonna have to do that puzzle again to get back across the bridge? I hope not. The man in black had taken the higher path towards the Almas Dunn Bridge. <laughs> That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? There's nowhere to hide on the bridge. I'll go underneath and spy on him from there. Okay, was there anything new in the journal, actually? Okay. Search mom's old CSI stuff, lockpicks, flashlight, new outfit. <laughs> Sparkly aura. The briefcase belongs to a shadowy man in black. Refill... Brief. Rifled. That's it. Rifled. Ugh. Rifled through dad's stuff. What was he looking for? Quietly followed man in black through forest. Who is he? And how did he cross the broken bridge? That's at least a ten foot gap. Why is he on the... Why is he on the almost done bridge? That's a dead end. Hello, birds. Hello, luminous fungus. Hope you don't have any allergy problems. I'm... Some people would be really irritated by this much fungus, wouldn't they? Okay. You know, the squ the look of these square, uh, these rocks right here, the squares that are right next to each other, uh, or close to each other, is reminding me of, um, uh, one of the old Clue Finder games, those edutainment games that were actually very, they were actually really funny and, and interesting and entertaining. No, I'm serious. The Clue Finder 6th grade adventure and that, um, that one puzzle where you had to spell out words and the, from rock tiles and there was a fissure in the in the rocks that you you know by hitting the letters you were cracking the uh you were hitting this fissure and causing the rocks to break or something like that and they looked kind of like those rocks right there you know these square rock tiles that were right next to each other that sort of thing oh clue finders Apparently, the license to uh, the Clue Finders games is up for grabs for anybody that wants it. It would be interesting to see somebody um, do a new take on the Clue Finders games. Um, you know, those I think those types of edutainment games have faded away from what I've been reading, or, you know, I haven't heard of any. But the Clue Finders were entertaining. I played those games... You know, uh, a lot, several of the Clue Finders games were based around particular grades, you know, thir third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth. Uh, well, just those. And then they had some reading and math adventure games and some other miscellaneous ones that I didn't even know existed. But I only I only owned and played the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade games. But I played those things even after I was outside of those grades, you know, just because they were funny or fun and kind of entertaining in a way. I mean, I didn't challenge myself with the problems, but... Uh, you know, I was just playing it just to be entertained by the humor and stuff like that. Walk to the lake. Follow the man in black. There's nothing left to do here. 
Jenny couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. No, she'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't know he was being watched. Good plan. Good plan, Nancy. I, I mean, Jenny. Near the edge of the unfinished bridge. Ooh. His methodical movements unnerved Jenny. I need to get a better look at him. I'll climb the outside of the bridge and snoop on him from there. Oh no, not this the plan was daring but reckless. I have no choice. He's my only lead. And so, undaunted by the dangers that lay ahead, Jenny LeClue, wearing her mother's jacket, advanced towards the bridge. Yesterday a child, today a courageous adventurer. Not fighting with Jenny anymore, are you? Good. There shouldn't be anything to collect here, because I was already here. Easy does it. I don't want him to hear me coming. As long as it's not back to the lake maze. Fine. Although I'll have to deal with this climbing puzzle again. Oh wait, there's a ladder. C can I just go up the ladder instead of the scaffolding? Yes. Thankfully. First, exploration. Oof. Everything is okay. Adjusting the microphone position a little bit. <sighs> the sound's been pretty good and stable, and I haven't had that weird sound problem so far. With Jenny glanced down for the first time, and I'm still nervous about it. That was a bad idea, Jenny. And immediately wished she hadn't. What did I just say? She clung tightly to the stone wall. The ledge beneath her feet was narrow, barely wide enough to stand on. <laughs> One false move and... Focus, Jenny. Is that... <gasps> Perfect pitch! The hallmark of a serial killer. What? Is that the bar... Again, that's the Barney song. Did the game developers have any problems using that song in this game? I mean, even whistling the tune? No, seriously. I have to wonder. Maybe I can get a closer look. Okay, that's him right there. I'm looking around for collectibles. The man in black. Extremely creepy, identity unknown, likes long walks in the woods, and children's literature. Aw. <laughs> Those almost sound like pop. Uh, hello, I'm the man in black. 
I like long walk, long peaceful walks in the woods, and I'm a fan of children's literature. I'm hoping to be a ch I'm hoping to write children's literature one day, so I'm studying. So I'm studying some of the greats. What? The brim of his hat concealed his face in shadow. The man in black remained an enigma. He's not part of the black organization, is he? Could be three kids in a raincoat for all I know. <laughs> He's just standing there. What's he waiting for? Huh? Wait. Why is this? Were these extra holes here before? Chatterbox. <laughs> yes, it's all there. Clear as day. Who is he talking to? Wasn't there? Yes, the whole house. She must have it. What was he looking for? Of course. Where? Hold on. You're breaking up a little. Where did he go? Oh no. <sighs> A super secret spy stash? Shh, quiet. Okay, now what? Now what do I do?
Yes. I'll take care of her. There we go. Tonight. They change shifts at four. Yes. It's all here. I have to see what's on that paper. Yes. The biggest cross. I know. Don't tell me he's going to be dumb enough to leave that document behind. I mean, it's great for me, for Jenny, but, uh... He's destroying evidence! Please don't tell me it goes back into the lake maze. only distracted for a moment but the moment was enough how does he do that damn how does he do that what are you batman There we go. No. Okay, how do we turn No. No. Looks promising. That looks like it might be a corner. Oh, there are corners missing. Let's turn this around. Turn this right side up. Let's see. Good thing they just pop into place. So I guess a few scraps are missing. Jenny held the soggy paper delicately. She hadn't recovered all the pieces, but enough to discern the message. Beyond the fallen angel, through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. Fallen angel. The entrance is buried there. 
Look for the biggest cross. Don't forget to pay your respects. What could it mean? Their directions to a secret entrance. But an entrance to what? Maybe there's more in the back. Mom? <laughs> Jenny's heart skipped several beats. She remembered the man in black's words. I'll take care of her tonight. <gasps> He's going to... <gasps> Jenny couldn't bring herself to say the words. Oh, no, he's not. Mom's in terrible danger. Thankfully, her mother was safely locked away under the watchful eyes of the police. Well, sometimes for some people, being inside a jail cell is the safest place. Uh, say, if there might be a whole bunch of people that would want to kill them. He'd never get past them. On the other hand, the police in this town aren't, don't exactly seem to be very competent, so... Those steel bars might only count for so much. He won't have to. These instructions lead to a secret entrance. Not necessarily a secret entrance to the police station. A way to get to the jail without being detected. Though they could, yeah. But where? The entrance is buried there. Buried? The word bounced around her brain like a pinball. Hmm. Where did people bury things? Their backyards! The graveyard! Or that. Of course. The graveyard was in the same part of town as the jail. Achievement unlocked. Now it's personal. Angels, arches, crosses on graves. All features of the graveyard. I have to get there before he does. I have to save my mom. This was all well and good, but even if she was right, even if she managed to reach her mother before the man in black, how am I going to break her out? It was at this moment a rather distressing thought popped into her head. As loath as she was to admit it, Jenny needed help. She reached into her jacket pocket and removed the walkie-talkie Susie had given her. Susie, are you there? Jenny, thank goodness. Are you okay? Ah! Turn down the music! What is that awful music? Oh. I'm just rehearsing my dance for... I regret asking. <sighs> you said earlier you wanted to... Yes? You said you wanted to... Help? Of course. Anything for you, friend. Okay. Meet me at the graveyard right away. The graveyard? But it's nearly midnight. What if I get caught? It's urgent, Susie. I don't know, Jenny. I don't think I can do it. Don't you see, Susie? This is your chance to prove yourself. Do you want your whole life to be dictated by your parents? Well, no, but... There comes a time when every young woman has to chart her own course. <laughs> but does it have to be right now? Yes! Yes, it does! My mom's fate hangs in the balance. And I'm the only thing standing between her and death. Which side of history will you be on? Um, the good side? Great. Then meet me outside the graveyard as soon as possible. Okay, I'll be there, Jenny. What should I wear? I'm thinking practical, but colorful. I don't care. Just bring your silent explosives. <laughs> yeah, those are coming what? into play. What do you need explosives for? 
I'm going to break my mom out of jail. And where is she supposed to go? Where is she supposed to go when you bust her out of jail? Well, guess we'll get to that when we no, get to no, that. No, no, no. Arthurton. Are Are you drunk? What is that poster there? Jenny LeClue and something It looks like a mobster. The poster on the right, see it? Oh, look a rack for three different pipes. What is that? Oh, those are not words. Look at that poster there. That looks very engaging. Like that looks like a gangster. Like is that one of the early Jenny LeClue books? I want to get a better look at that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Arthur's drunk. I am an artist. I will not be dictated to by some pen pusher in an ivory tower. Ha graveyard, happy ending. What happens next? Super, fu super fun surprise. Exciting new locations. Focus on friends. Graveyard. I'm trying to read his notes. Ooh, and look and sketches. Oh, look at that. Arthur, you actually do location sketches and maps? Wow. Wow, that is that is awesome. Not every Arthur, author can do that. Wow, that's wow. It's too long, too violent, too dark. Okay, let's see if I can get Jenny LeClue in the case of the, let's see, let's see if I can read this. Still Life Strangler? You choose the ending? Was that one of your books? Whoa. These are my characters. So why does it feel like they're rebelling against me? Well... When you write a character a certain way and you give them real personality, sometimes that character's personality will dictate what you write. And, uh, well, characters. All this fighting, all this drama. And for what? Jenny and Susie should be best friends by now. Sometimes it's not that easy. Maybe it's time to wrap this one up. End on a happy note. Yes, let's fix this nonsense once and for all. You really shouldn't write when you're drunk. Oh, he's going nuts you're right, again. Rufus. First, I need another drink. Oh, boy. And suddenly everything that happens in the game is incomprehensible. Ooh. Strasbury found in pieces? What? Okay, yeah, um... If one of his ideas were f was for the Dean to be in pieces, I'm glad he didn't go that route. That's a bit much. Even for a new direction. Maybe, um... Hmm. 
I'm guessing those ending things are how we transition the game to the next part. Is there anything else to look at? No? Okay. I imagine I can go back to this scene later and maybe see what each one of these things does. If there is a... Wait. There isn't a gap, but... If these were actually two different directions, then for the story plot then there then this thing should deselect when i'm between them graveyard rescue mom too dangerous reveal arthurton's darkest secrets arthurton should be full of joy push jenny to her limits too stressful exotic new location such a good idea focus on friendship keep fans happy super fun Re surprise unburden the readers you know or <clears throat> Stories, a lot of stories need to be engaging. I mean, sometimes people like fluff pieces when fluff is needed, but stories generally should be engaging. Good stories are engaging for the reader. And Arthur? Uh, if, I, if you guys will excuse me ranting at Arthur. Oh, well, <clears throat> it's been about, what, 30... Oh, I, I should actually stop this video. It's been long enough. So I'll save this discussion for a, a next video. So this has been Emerald Lupin playing Jenny LeClue, Detective Ooh. Uh Remember, if you like this video, please remember to do things like press that like button, leave a comment and tell me how I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel, or just sharing this with your friends on social media. Every little bit really does help, so please remember to do that. And you can check out some of my other videos and playlists as well. And I'll see you guys more with Jenny LeClue, Detective Ooh, where we uh, presumably go to the graveyard. Ooh. And I also talk uh, at Arthur about his uh, character situation. <laughs>